एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डेंटल कैफे टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मैक्सिलरी मेजर कनेक्टर्स इन जनरल अबाउट मेजर कनेक्टर्स आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो ओके देन लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो सो वॉट इज मेजर कनेक्टर्स इट इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ रिमूवल पार्शल डेंचो विच कनेक्ट द कंपोनेंट ऑन वन साइड ऑफ द आर्च to the components on the other side of the arch as you can see in the figure it connects the component from one side to the other side of the arch moreover it is a unit of removal partial denture to which all other parts are directly or indirectly attached it means it is a major component to which all other components or all other parts of the rpd are attached so we have two types of major connectors first one is maxillary major connectors and the second one is mandibular major connectors in this video we are going to discuss about the maxillary major connectors in details and about mandibular major connector i will discuss in my next video so the various maxillary major connectors are first one we have palatal bar major connector as it have bar then we have a single palatal strap major connector then we have a anterior posterior palatal bar or double bar major connector then we have horseshoe shaped or u shaped connector then we have anterior posterior palatal strap or closed horseshoe shaped major connector and the last one is the complete palate in this video we will discuss only single palatal bar palatal strap and double bar connector um rest three are discussed in the part begin with a single palatal bar major connector as the name suggest it contain a bar as you can see in the figure a single bar running across the palate if we see a cross section you can see that it's a na narrow half oval shape in cross section what are the indications of single palatal bar major connector first one can be used only when one or two teeth are to be replaced on the each side means we can use it only for small edentulous area not a broad edentulous area such as in case of kennedy's class 3 next indication use in case of kennedy's class 3 it means in tooth and tissue supported area we can use it only in case where edentulous space is supported by tooth not in cases of class 1 or class 2 for interim partial denture what are the disadvantages of single palatal bar major connector it has a poor bony support from the hard palate as it's a bar so its anterior posterior width is narrow so it give poor bony support and that is why it is not used in large edentulous area cannot be used anterior to premolar region because it interferes the tongue if we use anterior to premolar it will continuously irritate the tongue and the last one is a poor vertical support same because its anterior posterior width is narrow it is only used in case of one or two tooth is missing in case of tooth supported partial edentulous space because it has a poor vertical support we can increase vertical support by adding rest now the second one is a single palatal strap major connector as name suggest it has a wide and thin band of metal plate that run across the palate so that it can overcome all the disadvantage that bar have and this strap should be at least 8 mm wide on the indications of single palatal strap major connector use in case of unilateral distal extension partial denture cases it means in cases of kennedy's class 2 and class 3 not in case of bilateral edentulous area as in class 1 bilateral short span edentulous spaces in tooth supported prosthesis if you are using in bilateral edentulous area it should be tooth supported it means it should be kennedy's class 3 now the advantages of single palatal strap major connector comfortable to the patient as very thin metal is present and hence it increase the patient comfort provide excellent resistance against bending and twisting forces acting on the denture 
how it provide accident excellent resistance against bending and twisting forces as it is extend uh, over the three different planes and provide good and direct retention so it prevent the dislodging of denture it prevents the denture to dislodge against the forces and the last advantage is it has a good indirect retention of course it has a broad strap so it provide good indirect retention as compared to bar and thus prevent against bending and twisting forces now the disadvantages of single palatal strap major connector of course if it's cover a large pallet area so it will somehow uh, irritates the tongue so large palatal coverage so it will irritate the tongue it will not that comfortable then second one is that the strap cannot be placed across the prominent median suture then can you cause papillary hyperplasia because this strap is 8 mm uh, broad so it can cause papillary hyperplasia irritates the papilla and causes hyperplasia now the third one is the anterior posterior palatal bar major connector as you can see in the figure it is a combination of anterior palatal strap and posterior palatal bar so posteriorly it it has a bar so in cross section the posterior bar is also a half oval shaped in cross section as in palatal bar property is very important have circular configuration as you can see in the figure it is roughly somehow give a circular configuration what is the advantage of this circular configuration as you can see this uh, design have a lateral slopes of palate on the side we have a lateral slopes of palate anteriorly we have a strap posteriorly we have a bar so this circular configurations make it more rigid and help in distribution of forces and in the center the palate is free so it is somehow more comfortable to the patient circular geometry provides its a rigidity to make it more rigid against the forces to prevent it from the dislodgement dislodgement to prevent it from the bending and the twisting forces what are the indications of anterior posterior palatal bar major connector when anterior and posterior abutment teeth are widely separated it means we can use it in large edentulous area when we have a edentulous area present anteriorly and a posteriorly and many tooth are missing in such cases uh, anterior posterior palatal bar major connector is used previous two uh, major connectors are not used in large edentulous area they are used for short span next patient who wants to avoid complete palatal coverage of course as you can see in this the palatal coverage is not complete so if we completely cover the palate it will irritate the patient patient cannot feel the hot and the cold cold uh, food so in such cases we can give anterior posterior palatal bar major connector so that the taste sensation will still there in the denture in case of large inoperable palatal tori as you can see in the figure we have a small tori so what we which design will you prefer in such cases complete palate design is not indicated in this cases because there is a tori if tori is not present then the complete palatal uh, major connector is the ideal design but if tori is present then we will give anterior posterior palatal bar so that we can relieve the tori the next indication is large edentulous span in class 2 modification 1 as you can see in the figure in cases of kennedy's class 2 mod 1 in kennedy's class 4 condition we can also give this design in kennedy's class 4 condition when anterior tooth is missing and posterior ones are remain there advantages of course it have a circular configuration it means it is very rigid strong and limited soft tissue coverage at the palatal part was removed so somewhat comfortable to patient not absolute but yeah limited support from the palate so we can say it's a disadvantage also because palate provide very good support then of course it's how it covers the palate anything which covers the palate will be uncomfortable to the patient so we can say yeah, it's a it's, it's uncomfortable to the patient 
I hope this video is helpful for you and I try my level best to make it as simple as possible for you to understand. If you want more such type of videos, do comment on comment section. Thank you for watching.